My name is Lindsay Anderson. I may look sporty now, but that wasn't always the case. But as an adult, I found active hobbies that have changed my life. It can be tough to find the right one to jump into. You can follow me and my friends as we try sports for the first time. All it takes is that first step. Try an active hobby and someday become a weekend warrior. There are so many ways you can enjoy the sport of climbing. For example, you could scale the side of a terrifying cliff hanging over the crashing waves of the harsh Atlantic Ocean, which I'm being told I'm going to do later in this episode. Ugh. As I was saying, there are many different ways to enjoy the sport. And if you start at a gym like I'm doing, you don't need a lot of equipment, a lot of money, or even a lot of bravery. So join me as I explore the exciting world of climbing. Just not starting there first. Pretty much every climber you ask will tell you to start at an indoor gym. So I met up with my friend Saf Hack at East Peak Climbing to try out climbing for the first time. So these are our auto belays. Uh, they replace the need for a belayer on the ground. It's an automatic system. So when you pull on this kind of webbing right here, it's gonna release slack and when you let go, it's gonna retract. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Um, basically what you're gonna do is you're just gonna get your feet on the wall and then you're gonna start climbing. You are like a spider, you're just going. Um, when you are feeling like you are good to come down, basically what you're gonna do is you're just gonna kind of put your feet on the wall, um, do a little jazz hands, give a little wave to everybody in the gym. Kind of looks like this. Oh wow, that Very looks... Very anticlimactic. No, it kind of <laughs> looks terrifying actually. That's okay, <laughs> that's totally fair. To feel a little nervous, it's super. So um, is there any like, you know, technique to actually climbing. So when you kind of start, you want to make sure that you have your feet um, on the wall. You really want to weight in your feet. Um, when you kind of look at your body, what is a little stronger, your legs or your arms? Legs. Definitely legs, my yeah. legs. <laughs> a lot of people kind of come into the gym thinking that climbing is a lot of upper body strength and that's true when you kind of get more into it and when you start to get into harder climbing. But what you really want to start with is just making sure that your feet and uh, legs are weighted because they're the ones that are carrying you through the ground all day. So you want to make sure that it's kind of the same thing on the wall when you start. Um, yeah, so do you guys want to just kind of give it a go? Give me a little demo. Go ahead. That carabiner, perfect. You tell me when. You got it. Oh, gosh. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you put your other hand? With all the dangers involved in climbing, pretty much all of my instruction in this episode concerned the safety side of things. From knotting rope to learning to fall properly, there's quite a lot to learn. But the actual techniques of climbing it seems like you just have to get started and learn it on the fly, or, or the wall in this case. Awesome, and then do you want to take a fall from there? Okay. So you're gonna do a little jazz hands, push off the wall, and you want to make sure you kind of keep facing the wall. And I have to let this other arm go. You do. <laughs> I don't like that. That's okay. The rope is gonna hold you. Oh my God, it's terrifying, just let it go. Oh my yeah, God. <laughs> and then, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I did the thing! Yeah. <laughs> Staff and I tried and learned a lot from Quinn, but probably the toughest and most important was learning how to use the auto belayer. It's kind of like a seatbelt that only stops you when you jerk against it quickly. You can do it. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, why would I take this hand off the wall? Why would like, I do that? But I don't want to. But belaying, or holding the other side of the rope while someone climbs, it's essential to rope climbing. People must love this though, because you don't need a partner. You can just come on your own. Yeah, it's definitely one of the biggest attractors to new folks to come in and climb, especially when they don't have a partner um, or if they've like, never tried it before. Um, we make a really good point to set lots of really good climbs on the auto blades that are like very beginner friendly, but also are kind of challenging the more you get into it. So it's kind of a really nice all around for um, people who are coming into the gym. Um, whether they've been here a million times before or if it's the first time, there's kind of like something for everyone. Yeah, oh, I love it, okay. Yeah, yeah but that was scary. We only went like you know, <laughs> 10 feet, yeah, so. Awesome. After conquering the indoor wall, I was ready to take the next step. So I met up with my roller derby league mate, Davey, and their crew of climbing friends to tackle the rugged cliffs and boulders of Shibukdo Head. So crash pads on our backs, we headed out to a well-known rock to get my first taste of bouldering. So the most important part of bouldering outside is that I'm gonna feel safe. So that means that all three of you are gonna be here uh, ready to catch me if I fall. Okay. Um, so you're gonna be my spotters. Um, so if I come off the wall, make sure I hit these mats. Okay, <laughs> okay. So it might not look like I'm holding on to anything, but I am. 
And just same idea as the other time, right? Yep, just finding your holds and finding your good feet. Um, yeah. Wow. Just like that. Nice Thank job. Yeah. Make it look yeah, easy. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Who's next? Is it you? I, you. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. All right. Ready? I guess. This is, oh, the mats are even scaring me. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't step over here. You stayed on I this didn't. side. I stayed there. Okay. So there's some good feet. I don't know, man. Uh, a lot different. Bouldering is way harder than I expected. Okay. You made this look really easy, Jack. Oh. <laughs> I found it really tough to find good spots to place my hands and feet, and I had to grip so hard to pull myself up. Oh, okay. There you go. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. And don't be fooled by the smaller size of the rock I'm climbing. Even though it isn't nearly as tall as the climbing gym walls, having no rope or harness meant I was really scared the whole time. Yeah, you just yeah. gotta trust that. There you go. Yes! There you go. There you go. Yes, yes! <laughs> oh God, this part. You got so, it. There's a good... I'm just gonna yeah, use push, my push, upper push. body strength. Yes! <laughs> yes. Oh man! That's scary. Yeah. You did so good. <laughs> Now that I had tried climbing with a rope and the feeling of rocks under my hands, it was time for the main event, climbing up the side of a huge cliff. And this place was tough to get down to. I was already scared before we even started. So I'm literally just going up here. Does someone want to show me first? <laughs> you do? No, I'm just gonna do this? All right, all right. I'm throwing you in all the way through. How are you feeling? I mean, terrified. <laughs> so essentially your goal is to get to the top, so where it's connected. And when you touch that, you've sent the route, you've completed it. So I just yeah. literally have to just start finding a place to grab onto and go. Yeah. Is this, do people like find success the first time? It's, uh, it's a trial <laughs> and error. Okay. When you get close to the wall, I'll tighten the rope. Okay. I just, uh, yeah, I don't even know where to start. So I see some like, spots where I assume hands would grow. Yeah, and you can step up into your right foot. Yeah, you can just kind of feel around. I can't! <laughs> How do you get the leverage? What if I two-hand it? Oh god, it's so yeah, scary, yeah. it's so scary. And you're completely safe. Lessons were not enough, I don't think, for this type of experience. You're 100% safe. Nice, give that up. Oh my god, I don't know if I want to go much higher. <laughs> you're doing great. It feels safe to be roped in, yes. but yes. it's hard to let go. <laughs> it's hard to like do this. I need a place for my foot. There. Yeah. Nice. Just like bouldering, it was so hard to find spots to hold on to that felt safe. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're doing great. You're halfway up already. I feel a great ledge here. It gets real scary right here. Okay. If it wasn't for Davey and everyone pushing me to keep going, I would have quit after five feet. It was really scary. Okay, this might be far enough for me. You're so close. Oh. There's some good grips up there. Oh. Get that left foot up and you'll be... Left foot, okay. Yeah, there's a nice ledge oh, there. Oh yeah, there. Oh, but I don't want to. Oh. You're so safe. Yes. How far do I have to touch? That thing? Yeah. Yep. Oh, good Lord. Okay. <laughs> um, that's high. Oh, man. I'm kind of stuck. Look, if I touch that, is that enough? <laughs> I don't know. Yes! In the end, I'm so glad I made it to the top. It was such a rush. Uh, yeah! yeah. Uh, there! <laughs> is that good? You flashed it! 
Oh man. Amazing. So you can let go of the rock. For real? Grab onto the rope that's attached to your harness. Rope that's attached to my harness, okay. Oh God. You're 100% safe. Very. Uh, I'll go nice and slow. Okay. And why is it that getting back down is always the hardest part? Uh, yeah, so straighten your legs out. Say that again, sorry. Straighten your legs out. Straighten out. Okay, I got it. Yeah, so let your butt drop. Okay. Yep, yeah, and then walk down like that. Okay. I'm shaking, just so you know. That was terrifying. You did amazing. <laughs> that was so scary. I did not finish this route the first time that I oh, <laughs> was God. here. Oh, God. Yeah, here's almost... the thing. I think there's a little bit of like, oh, I'm caught. Oh. Do I like that go? Yeah, Okay, sorry, that was, oh! <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, we're coming down. Okay. I think there's a little bit of like beginner's naivete, like where you just are like, I'm just gonna do this, and now if you asked me to go again, I'd probably say no. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much. Awesome. <laughs> wow, that, I, that was scary. That was honestly really scary, but I, I understand your words, your coaching of like, you're perfectly safe was like, okay, then take that, take that next reach then. Sometimes you need that reassurance yeah, oh, yeah. of like, am I gonna plummet to my death? Oh no, no I would have bailed way sooner <laughs> than that. So yeah, that was, wow, no, I am. I'm like shaking, that was awesome, but terrifying at the same time. You did so great. Thank you. I have to admit, out of all the things that I've tried to this point, that was the hardest and that was the scariest. But yeah, wild, I'm still shaking. <laughs> it was so scary. I don't know if I'd do it again right now. <laughs> I might want to go and practice a little more in the indoor facility, uh, but I'm glad I did it, and, uh, and I, will, I would try it again, for sure. What is really cool about this sport is how versatile it is. If you're looking for a fun way to improve or maintain your fitness, grab a membership to a local climbing gym. And if you're looking for a great excuse to get out into the incredible rugged beauty this region has to offer, gather up some awesome friends and find some gnarly rocks to climb.